the the truth of what happened that day so i get to the airport at two in the morning my time six in the morning you uk time so i get to the lines which i didn't know that you had to do this because i had a layover flight so i had to basically stay i landed in london and then i was gonna fly to edinburgh so when i got to the airport the immigration lines and it was in the news you can look it up because i landed on september 2nd or 3rd it was a friday and the immigration lines were like four hours long and i only had like an hour to get to my flight because it was like it already took off later than it was supposed to i ended up having to wait at like two in the morning my time in like the customer service line so i was there for like an hour and then i had to go through immigration and security again and i ended up having to wait in the airport for over 12 hours which was not fun so by the time i got to edinburgh it was like 10 30 at night i got a cab and i had like all of my luggage with me and it was heavy and i got lost i couldn't find my building i found it eventually pretty much every single person i've talked to had like a chaotic thing happen at the airport so just be aware of this give like give yourself enough time when you book your flight to like make sure you don't get stuck in that situation because that was definitely not fun So the first night I decided to compartmentalize what I had just done and get myself organized. I made my bed, unpacked my suitcase so I could feel just like a little more settled. This honestly helped so much the first couple of days because it established the dorm room more of like my own little home away from home. Then I ate a very nutritious dinner of a protein bar while I stared out the window and continued my crisis. Um, this first week has been honestly so exciting and fun, and I have definitely filled it up with a ton of more socializing events than I initially thought. Um, so after a year of the pandemic, I've honestly been really surprised at my abilities to talk to people again. It feels so weird doing this now. Um, so I just had my first day, and it was really good. It was kind of weird because, like, obviously last night I did kind of panic because... Like when you move to a new country and it's you've been up for 36 hours, like something just clicks where you're like, was this the biggest mistake of my life? And I ordered the dorm sheets um, and they're literally paper. So I went to go get myself some sheets today because I feel like I'm, I'm spending the whole entire year here. So I'm like, I definitely should invest in like something that is not paper to sleep on. So I went to, I forget the name of the store, J. Lewis, is that what it was? I had to walk all the way downtown, um, which it actually was a pretty good walk. I walked about like 12 miles today and I had lunch at this really cute place and I just like happened to find myself in like all these little, little places and it was just really, um, it was really fun. <laughs> all in all, a very good first day. I think I start meeting people like maybe tomorrow or something, I'm not sure, but she called. Oh, I forgot I also bought a pillow. I brought this from home. This one was, it's a little sad. That's my winter coat, as you can see. essentials everything is brand new here and none of the brands are like what we have at home so I did my best to like some of them are the same but some of them are completely different so I feel better about like getting myself like really set up because the last couple days I've been like seeing the city yesterday like met like a bunch of other international students and um, it's been a little bit chaotic so spending a little time like getting my life together is very much needed for like my mental sanity for sure big tub CeraVe. I usually use Cetaphil, but I think it usually does the same thing. I have, I 
got this body wash. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but it looks like just normal, like I'm just looking for like soap because I can't use bar soap in this shower because it's like a shared bathroom shower. I'm gonna try that. I did get myself some digestives um, because I had these on vacation a couple years ago. My mom loves them and you know what? They're, they're excellent. <laughs> This particular morning, I woke up and I took myself on a walk to Greyfriars Kirkyard, which is already one of my favorite places in Edinburgh. The graveyard has a view of um, the castle and it's just a really peaceful place to sit. So I walked myself down to get breakfast at a cute cafe called The Milkman, where I got myself an Americano and a pumpkin loaf, which was so good, I can't describe with words. It was, it was just incredible. So week one is done. Um, it has been actually so crazy. <laughs> so I'm talking really quiet because the walls are so thin here. I can hear like literally everything that goes on, but um, it has been about a week and everybody has moved into my building and they're all um, freshmen, which is really funny. Um, so they are all like going crazy and I just learned about Freshers Week this year, or this this week, literally. I'm sort of getting to experience that firsthand without like actually having to experience it. Yeah, it's been a really weird first week. You know, they talk about like the highs and lows of like study abroad. The epic highs and lows of high school football. And it's definitely true. Like there have been some moments this week where I'm like so like kind of overwhelmed and frustrated. Like today I was really trying to find thumbtacks and I went to like five different stores to find it and I walked so much. I've been walking like almost over 10 miles every day. But then I have some days where I'm like, I'm feeling good. Like I'm really like trying to put myself out there and like being out in the world again is so weird. And it's also different and weird because like I'm in another country. So it just like adds a whole nother layer to it. But yeah, it's, it's good. It feels really good to be out in the world. And um, you know, it, it's easy to see this as like a trip, but it's really like a long-term like moment for me. <laughs> One, one could say as eloquently put as possible. I feel like it's really easy to like get burned out your first week um, because it's just been like a bunch of international students like kind of running around, like just going and going and going. And I feel like a lot of people feel like they need to see everything like in the first couple of weeks when there's no class and stuff, but I'm really trying to like pace myself and you know, take those moments because I definitely am more introverted. So like I, I have been really putting myself out there, but like taking those moments to like watch my favorite TV show from home or like sit in a cafe that I really wanted to go to and you know, get up early and go for a walk because that's just like what I love. It's um, it's definitely a good tip for like coping with this first week because it's definitely an, a lot. And I don't mean coping in like a bad way because it's all, it's all very exciting, but I feel like it can be overwhelming for sure. Yeah, this is sort of like my first week. So yeah, it went well. <laughs> Ba 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 